ladies and gentlemen, Big Haas here. Um, it's a huge honor, you know, uh, to, to speak to, to Vicky because she's someone who's incredible. Shout out to Reebok Mina for arranging this happen. Um, Vicky Tobak is a journalist whose writing has appeared in the theater complex. Um, overall, she is also the author of uh, Contact High, A Visual History of Hip Hop. It's a huge honor to meet you and welcome to Dubai. Is that your first time in, in the UAE? It's my third time here. Yeah. And how do you find it so far? I love it. It's my first time here at Seoul DXB, but my third time in Dubai, and I love it. This is super cool to see like all the you know youth culture kids like come in one place. That's awesome. Um, a blessing. So I'll get straight into it. We're definitely talking about the book, but I want to ask you, as Vicky, um, what was your first interaction with hip hop as you? So. I grew up listening to hip hop in Detroit and I moved to New York in the early 90s and my first job um, in New York was working with Gangstar. Um, I got a job uh, at their management company and label, Empire Management Payday Records, um, and I became their director of PR. So I you know, took the group around um, to photo shoots, um, really worked with Gangstar, a lot of the early group Most Def we had, we had Jay-Z for a singles deal, um, and really immersed in, in you know, that culture really early in the early 90s I was, when I was 19. Um, and then I actually met a lot of the photographers in the book back then. I think that made it easy, obviously, to have the book done. Which brings me to my next question with Contact High. I mean, it, um, how long did it take you to put that together? Because it's documenting since, I believe, uh, with Cool Herc in the beginning. That's the beginning, obviously, um, with hip-hop starting in the early 70s or mid-70s. But then you start documenting it from 1979? Yeah, so it starts in 79, goes to current day. Um, the book, you know, the book took a while because I was asking people to dig into their archives. Um, and it, so it was images that they had to like find, you know, that were like buried in basements and shoe boxes and things like that. So, um, and it's also a really personal thing. Like artists, photographers don't really share their contact sheets. So it was a lot of like trust building. Um, so it took about three years to actually complete the book. But I always say like really my whole life because had I not known a lot of those photographers when I was 19, it probably would not well, have been. I mean, blessings. You're talking to a kid from Saudi Arabia, you know, our host Saudi's first FM hip hop radio show, which brings me to my next question. You know, obviously the, the, the biggie picture which Baron took, I think is really iconic, um, incredible. W what does it mean to you when, because I interviewed Cool Herc, and I, and I said, and he asked me, where, where are you calling me from? And, he, and I said, Saudi Arabia. And he, his answer was like, hip hop reached that far. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the culture like moving into all over the world right now? It's not only American culture anymore. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's pop culture now. It's the dominant culture. And um, I think, you know, I write in the foreword to the book, you know, I say, like, this is for everyone, in the words of Biggie, who never thought that hip hop would take it this far. And it's, it's bittersweet, you know. It's you just gave me goosebumps by saying that <laughs> for some reason, because it's really incredible. Um, um, uh, Vicky, uh, I know it's a very tough question, but what's the highlight for you in the book? Like in terms of pictures, because I mean, I know, I mean, you're, you're talking about Kanye West's first photo shoot, Eminem, Jay-Z, you know, uh, Gangstar. Okay, I'll, I'll rephrase the question. For you, what is an underrated kind of picture? Because everyone obviously talks about the Biggie picture, yeah, Tupac picture. Yeah. For you, what's an underrated picture that should get more credit than it should get? Well, I, I point to the Nas Tupac photo because it was a photo that we actually discovered while researching for the book. It was on a contact sheet of another iconic photo and so that photo, you know, has for the is, was just seen for the first time like a year and a half ago when I was researching for the book. And that photo has so many layers because it has, you know, Nas and Tupac because they had a tumultuous yeah, yeah, yeah. relationship, but it would like meant a lot to him. It also has Nas's like childhood friend who passed away. And so for me, I also like that it means a lot to the artist for those photos because these are like their family photos, you know. I can't wait to dig deep in the book. I'm very proud of you. Very proud to meet you. Um, my last question would be, how do you compare hip-hop nowadays to how it was back then with all, because I'm all with the power of the word, the authenticity of the artist, and obviously now it's becoming very, you know, it's about like lifestyle, a little bit more like it. And yeah, 
I mean, it's just true to its time, you know. Same with photography. People say, like, was photography better before digital? Was photography better when you only had 36 shots to get it right? And I just say, you know, for the young hip-hop artists, for the young, like, people doing their thing, like, you can't tell them it was better. That's that's a disservice to hip-hop. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta accept that. Um, it's really amazing talking to you, uh, Vicky. Best of luck. Again, it's an honor to meet you. Um, I feel I can spend with you, like, an extra half an hour. Actually, one more question. You keep, questions keep coming in, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Um, as, a, as photographers, these guys have started documenting um, a, a movement back then that didn't they didn't know it's going to become yeah. that right now. Like it's the number one genre in the world and all that stuff. What are your thoughts about that element? The fact that they were just shooting it for the love of it. I love that. So, so one thing that I wanted to find out as a journalist writing this book is what made these photographers point their camera at something that like they weren't getting paid to do that they just felt in their gut was like important. And, um, and I really wanted to tell that story because a lot of the photographers came up as the music came up. So unlike a lot of other genres, you know, like rock or, you know, other kinds of um, photography, hip people who shot hip hop were either from the community, fell in love with it early. And so that that is like a beautiful side story of the book too, is the photographers who came up with the music and documented it. So proud of you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so this is um, the book. Definitely go get it. Um, incredible stuff. Shout out to Reebok again for making this happen. Thank you so much, Vicky. I'm so so proud of you. You don't understand. I'm, I'm as a as a voice of the culture, as someone who's uh, you know from Saudi Arabia, one of the most conservative countries in the world. Hip hop gave me a voice. Hip hop made me speak to Cool Herc. Um, Hip hop introduced me to a lot of people from all over the world. And my nose is burnt today, but it's not stopping me from you know coming and checking out Vicky. Um, you know definitely. So thank you so much. Thank you.